All right, we're gonna demonstrate a pour over coffee for you today. We've started uh, our coffee shop in 2007. The first thing we wanna do is put all your instruments on the scale. The reason why we're called the Flying Joe is um, my husband and I are both pilots. We flew in the military and retired after 25 years. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet the paper filter. We will have the kettle, the water is heated to 205 degrees. Now we're going to pour our coffee into the filter. For TV's sake, we've pre-ground the coffee. Uh, normally we grind it as the customer orders it, so it's the freshest it can be. But we use a local roaster and he provides a really great quality of coffee from different farmers around the world. Now what we're going to do is just tap on the wave to make sure we have a level bed of coffee. It's a nice atmosphere to come get one of our great breakfast sandwiches with one of our mimosa flights. We create cocktails for uh, the seasons, so each season we come up with a great new coffee menu and a cocktail menu. Olivia is gonna pour water in until the coffee starts to bloom. What that is doing is it's letting the coffee degas. We've needed a bigger space here in the Perrysburg location. Um, so my dream was to open a bigger location with a lot more things to offer. Now Olivia is going to begin pouring. She's going to do a slow, steady, and circular motion. We're also going to have a, an outdoor patio area that you can bring your coffee and cocktails out to. In probably the next few weeks or so, we hope to do a soft opening. Uh, this process uh, brings out the nuances of the coffee a lot better than doing a batch brew. People are really excited about what, what's behind the doors.